Hey everyone, so today's video is teaching you how to apply eyeliner, your eyebrows and mascara. Seems like mascara is a really easy thing to put on but I'm just going to show you what my tips are on putting on mascara and how I do it and why I look so weird in my videos while I do it. I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful and just stay tuned if you want to learn how to do my signature winged eyeliner. So I like to first of all start with my top lash line and when you go on your top lash line if you're going for a really nice clean look you want to use liquid eyeliner. If you want to go for a smudged out look you can use pencil liner or even gel or cream eyeliner but those are not my personal preferences. So what you want to do is start by shaking up your eyeliner, get it out and just make sure there's no clumps on the end of the brush make sure that it's nice and smooth. I like to usually put my elbow on a steady surface but I'm at a desk at the moment so I can't really do that. It's like too high. So find somewhere where you can have a steady surface and then look down into your mirror. So put your mirror in front of you and then look down into it like this. What you want to do is start in the middle of your eye and go right down by your lash line and just draw a small stroke like this. Then I like to go in and I like to do tiny little motions so literally like two millimeters at a time. all the way to the inner corner down there. You would carry on going right down to the edge and then when you get to the bottom you can leave it like this or if you want to learn how to do winged eyeliner or like flip eyeliner, I like to flip mine. You can just draw a little line pointing straight up and join it in and do all that jazz but that's not how I do mine so I'll show you how I do mine. I like to tilt my head up like this on a funny angle and I flick it up. So I'll go from about, when I've got my head like this way, I kind of go where the white of my eye starts so in that last kind of like fifth of my eye, I go straight out and then I'll flick it up. And that's really the best way I can explain it. So I've got a line there now. I'm not sure if you can see very well. But then I'll go from, like if I look at the bottom lash line, and then imagine my bottom lash line keeps extending upwards, that's what I'm going to do and join it up to that other line. And that's what it looks like like that. So I'll do the other eye now so you can see again. It's really hard to get both sides perfectly even. I don't do it most of the time. I just kind of do it and leave it and hope that it's right because sometimes when you try to even them out too often it just gets worse and worse and worse and you get thicker and thicker and thicker eyeliner. So again start in the middle. And then go in. And then from there you can slowly thicken it up to where you want it. So just go over and over until it gets slightly thicker. And then to do the flick I just lean my head to the side. And then join it up from this bottom corner here like this. When it comes to mascara, what I like to do is take it and then wipe off whatever's on the end. I know most people know how to do mascara, but I'm just going to elaborate a bit on how I do it. What I do is I take it, I make sure my head's tilted right back, and then I roll the brush under like this. So my brush is way underneath the lashes and that's going to help give me some curl and volume. So then what you want to do is keep rolling backwards and then kind of blink into it and that'll help get the mascara through all of my lashes. That's how you properly do mascara so that you don't have any blonde hair showing from the top of your eyelashes. And then you can do some on the bottom lashes.
and then on the other side do the exact same thing and when you do the slow motion where you kind of comb the brush through and blink into the brush it helps get out all of the clumps so you have nice thick lashes without clumpy spider leg lashes you know what I mean if you want to make the look darker you just add in some black eyeliner on your waterline which is this one here but I don't recommend that for a beginner for every day it's gonna look very heavy and sudden you don't want to shock everyone by wearing really dramatic makeup I do however recommend using brow gel this is the elf one that I always use and this is an exo beauty eyebrow brush this is also really great to put eyeshadow on as well but I like to just take my brow gel and then just cover wherever my eyelashes are lightly just to make them more presentable and put together this is how I do my brows every single day I like to just take the brush and lightly feather out the inside and then bring it back and you can see the difference between this one and this one this one still looks very natural but it just looks a lot more put together And that is the finished look, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you soon.